How are you doing? I thought I would vlog this week because I have kind of like a crazy, fun, weird week. It's Tuesday today and I'm going to the dress December party tonight with my friend Jeannie. This is the third annual party and the third year that we've gone and I think for both of us this is our sixth year participating. I also have a home chef order coming today which I'm so excited about. I'm not going to have time to cook it today because Jeannie and I are going to go get dinner on our way to the party, but I think maybe tomorrow would be a good day to make it. Tomorrow, my kids are going on a field trip to the Reagan Library and we're doing this situation room simulation thing. It sounds really cool and we've been preparing for it for a while and I've never gone before, but we're going with another class, so I'll try and show you a little bit of that also. We're getting back like a little bit later than school ends so Derek's gonna have to pick up Jensen we'll be on like a little bit different schedule than usual so maybe I can make it tomorrow or Thursday we didn't do home chef for a couple of weeks and we were like really missing it like yesterday we're like, what are we gonna do for dinner <laughs> like I don't know what to make I've done pasta and stir-fry already and we just had no new ideas so I don't even remember what I'm getting in this order but I'm excited to have something new to make and if you wanna try it too, you can click on the link below to get $30 off of your first order. So it ends up being a really good deal. All right, so in class today, my sixth graders are doing ancient Egypt and they read some articles on Newzella about ancient Egypt and then they are making these um, one pagers as a summary activity so we can check in with them a little bit later and see how those are going. And then my eighth graders are doing a gallery walk about the Industrial Revolution because we're reading books ugh, about the Industrial Revolution. Also, I need to submit my grades. So I have a bunch more grading that I need to do. Ugh, I'm so bad about staying on top of my grading. And a lot of stuff is like online too. So I have some of it here. I've been working my way through the first couple of periods and then I've got to move over here. This is our Beyonce file of all of the pages with no names on them. Look how many people have a zero for no reason. This drives me crazy. All these people <laughs> need to come get their stuff and turn it back in. And we're just a couple days away from December beginning and I won't be able to wear pants anymore. So I'm just like relishing the opportunity right now. So I'll do a little outfit for you. Very comfy today. This top I think is so cute. It's just like nice and flowy and easy to do. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. Um, it's just kind of like that like Dalmatian print sort of like the spots. <laughs> I don't know why I like this print so much but my phone case is like this and then it's got like a little bit of a higher neckline right here and then like these kind of puffy sleeves. This is from Pink Desert. I'll leave a link for you. And then I love these earrings. These are from Wells Cooperative, of course. I always wear their jewelry. They're fair trade and I love them. So pretty. And these kind of have some green in them and so I wore them with these green pants. I got them from Kohl's like a long time ago. That's like teacher fashion hack to just wear colored jeans because then maybe if you're not allowed to wear like denim at work, maybe you can get away with these. And then these are my Tom's little Dorsey flats. These are super comfortable and I just, I love the look of like the Dorsey. In just a couple of days, I'm gonna have to wear a dress every single day for 31 days. So I'm taking advantage of my pants this week. Although tomorrow I'm gonna wear a dress because we have to look like we work at the White House. So I have like a J. Crew shift dress, I think. All right, let's do some grading. <laughs> looking at my screen on power school I can only see the last names of kids and like maybe the first one or two letters of their first name but I teach eighth graders and they still don't remember to put their last name on their paper I always try to tell them power school doesn't even care about your first name it doesn't even operate with your first name I need to know your last name this is the part I'm not so good at I can like teach just fine and lesson plan just fine but then I'm like oh I have to put in grades 
<laughs> it's never as bad as it is like in my mind. I just gotta sit down and do it. It's just boring. Postmates has been a bad discovery for me because I forget my lunch all the time. And now I just ordered Panda Express. And it's gonna show up in the office in how long? Ooh, at 11.32. Okay. Mm. Oh no. Okay, I thought lunch was after this period. It isn't. I'm just really hungry. I thought lunch was next. I was about to like go get food. No, I have another class to teach after this before lunch. Oh well. My string bean chicken's gonna show up in the office. Dang it. <laughs> Okay, the day is done. I barely made it through. Then we had a staff meeting, and then I had to come back and remember to put everything in for my sub plans for tomorrow. I just leave sub plans for the sub, and then I put all of the instructions on Google Classroom also so that nobody can say like they didn't understand. And then I also write everything on the board. So like tomorrow, English 8 is doing that, and History 6 is doing that, so there should be no confusion, but you never know. So I gotta go pick up Jensen, I gotta get some caffeine, I gotta get some snacks for tomorrow, because that's like the thing that I'm most stressed about tomorrow is like not having caffeine and snacks, being stranded in Simi Valley. So, let's go. Jensen, what do you wanna get? Ice cream. Ice cream, okay. Hi, yeah, can I have a birthday cake pop? And then can I do a grande iced Americano with vanilla? Got anything else for you? That'll be all. Hi, right, I'm totally through the window. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. As long as I get this, I'm good to go. My driver Honda Civic, she might just have to ride on a bus for a minute But it really don't matter to her Cause the money and the status ain't factors for her She might speak English, might speak some France Might be single as someone's fiance Mom might say she look like Beyonce But what matters to her is what God say Yo, you never heard of her son? You could read about a Proverbs 30 plus 1 Yo, that's the girl that we talking about Cause it's the girl that the world can't do with that because the world ignored her, but not for long Cause guess what, now the godly girl got her own song, come on Godly girls, cross the world Out to you, things that you do Living right, world that's so wrong Godly girls, your song You can't tell a godly girl cause she's spoken a halo See a godly girl, she might look like Good weird morning to you. Hi, <laughs> Jensen. Well, we tried to go to school today. It was pouring rain for one thing, which just like doesn't happen very often here in California, although we desperately needed it, so I'm really glad that it rained, but 
That was just like my first clue that today was gonna be weird. Jensen was coughing, so I gave him a bottle and he had it in the car, which is also just like not a great thing. Like I could tell he wasn't feeling wonderful, huh? <laughs> and then right as I was like, you know like that point in your commute where you're like about to leave your neighborhood, like all of a sudden not really close to home. I heard the coughing and I heard the I was like, no, no, please don't. Like, this will change the course of the entire day. And all of a sudden, you just everywhere. So I had to call my school, let them know I had to drive home, stripped him down. I've been trying to clean out the, um, the car seat because we do still have to go to school. I still have to go half day. But uh, ugh, just trying to deal, deal with this little one who is perfectly fine now. They feel great after they throw up. They feel wonderful. <laughs> Plus he got to come home and play games. So he is having a wonderful day. I am cleaning up puke and trying to scrounge up some quarters to do laundry. <laughs> and then I still have to go to work and I had to like get some sub plans in within like four seconds. So real life mom teacher life over here. <laughs> Also, let me just show you really quick. I got a couple of things at the dress number party the other night. Just a few little souvenir things, but I thought they were cute. So every year they actually give out a little Christmas ornament. This will be my third ornament to hang on the tree. And then I got these little buttons for my students that end up participating in dress number. So I'm just gonna keep these for them. I got 10 of them, I think. So if 10 of them participate, they can have a little button. And then they were selling these last year. These are just like really teeny earrings that my camera doesn't want to focus on. <laughs> but I just thought these were really cute and kind of asymmetrical. So I'm gonna put these in my second holes and wear these during December. I only have one more day to wear pants. This is so weird. I don't really know what to do because I don't have like a full day to get things done. I can just kind of like pick one or two things to get done. So. I think I'm gonna change our sheets and then maybe, oh gosh, you know what? I might just not bring him to daycare. What should I do, Jensen? I could just bring him to my meeting. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Okay, I finished up a little bit of lesson planning so that I'm somewhat ready for tomorrow. Now that I've been out of the classroom for two days in a row, I feel a little off. So Jensen is here playing with my stuff. He was watching Angry Birds on my screen. Now he's playing with some kind of adapter. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Should we go make some dinner? Hi everybody, it's Friday afternoon. Yes, well, Friday evening, it's dark outside. What time is it? 5.19, it's already that dark. I am hungry, so I'm gonna change, I think, um, put something a little bit more cozy on, and clean up this kitchen and make some dinner. But I don't know about you, but I cannot cook in a messy kitchen. I need to do these dishes, put the other dishes away, take out the trash, like I can't cook anything until I have all that taken care of. The kitchen is a mess right now. But I've got a meal from Home Chef, one more in the fridge that I'm gonna do as soon as I get ready. And then I gotta work a little bit. I, I do need to do some work tonight and then finally relax and like watch some West Wing. That sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> tilapia and sesame snap peas. Sometimes I change the recipes a little bit from what they have 
which is fine to do. I'm just really picky and I don't really like anything with like mayonnaise or sour cream and sometimes that's just unavoidable in a recipe because most people like those things. So um, this calls for like fish cakes, but I'm just gonna bake the tilapia and just not mix it with the mayonnaise and the panko breadcrumbs and stuff. So we're just gonna do the tilapia and sugar snap peas. But this has been so nice for me because I'm just not very creative with my cooking. I just run out of ideas and run out of time to think of something to make. So now I've got this whole binder of all these different recipes that I could do and they sent me the ingredients the first time but I could always do it again myself. Oh, I'm gonna make myself some tea. Water's boiling, got my tea. To be honest, it seems like every teacher I know does one of these meal delivery services because it's just so hard to be at school all day and then planning and like on your lunch time you're planning and then you have to pick up kids and then you come home and you're doing more grading and you just don't have a lot of time to think about what to make and to go to the store and everything so almost everybody I know gets some kind of a meal delivery service and I really like home chef meals and everyone that I've done has been really healthy and really good and easy to make but then on the other hand I also feel like it's kind of like a cooking lesson for me because it's not like super simple like you don't just throw things in the microwave you know and just have like a tv dinner or something it's like actual fresh good food and i do feel like i sort of like learn new techniques for cooking things every time i get a box so that's one of the advantages for me is like cooking lessons plus the meal and it's just from the comfort of my own home so that's pretty nice so there's a link below if you want to check out home chef and then i also have a code for 30 dollars off and i'm getting hungry so let's start cooking Okay, I got the fish in the oven, and now we've got the snap peas, and I just gotta make sure that none of them have a little strings on them. These look pretty good, actually. So we've got our sugar snap peas, and then I'm going to make a little sauce with sesame oil and teriyaki glaze, and I've got some little sesame seeds and some scallions. So this actually looks really good. We'll see if Jensen will eat this. That's always the question. Okay, the fish has a few more minutes and then I'm gonna put in the snap peas and then it'll all be done. I think I might just add a little bit of uh, rice. We have some. Can you hear Jensen coughing in the background? It's so hard having a sick baby. I mean, I guess he's not a baby, he's a toddler, but ugh, it's just so hard to like listen to them cough. He seems fine, but he's not feeling great. He hasn't been sleeping all that well. So that's tough and we're supposed to start um, swim lessons in the morning, so. We'll see how that goes. So this week was not necessarily as I planned it. Because <laughs> Jensen got sick and I just wasn't able to be there as much as I wanted to be. So I was out two days in a row. And that really throws you off and it's just hard to get like sub plans in and just like catch up with everything you need to do. But all things considered, it still went pretty well. We caught up on a lot of stuff this week. Um, my English students are doing literature circles, which I've never done before. Like people have been asking me like, how to do them and I don't know I've never done them before but we're trying them out this year and I'm really happy with how they're turning out and I love that my kids are reading different books but they're all like on the same topic they're all about the industrial revolution and like factory work and this is gonna lead perfectly into December which starts tomorrow so this is the last day that I get to wear jeans but I'll get to tie in that advocacy that I'm doing for December and people working in the garment industry now and people who are being trafficked and people who are you know stuck working off loans that are just predatory and meant to trap people into working for somebody forever um, so there there's so many different aspects of it and I've got some other videos like with more information about that kind of stuff but um, we get to look at stories from history and I mean all these books are fiction but they're historical fiction they're based in in real events and then we're going to connect it to what's happening now so it's really really just a fun thing to teach and it's something new for me i haven't done it this way before but i've been working with emily from read it write it learn it and we've been using her curriculum and then i've been kind of setting up like the collaboration side between our students we've been using flipgrid and um, padlet for that but i have to say i'm glad that it is the weekend now because I am tired <laughs> and hungry. Okay, three more minutes on the fish.
my gosh, they smell so good. Oh, yum. I know this is totally cheating, but if I'm being honest, this is how we do rice sometimes. <laughs> So I plated it a little bit differently than they said to. I bowled it, in fact. We do lots of bowls around here. We're, we're bowl people. I think because we usually like just are holding our food and eating while we're also working, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing right now. But thank you so much for spending the week with me. It was so fun to show you the dress ember party and what we're doing in my classroom and then come home and make some dinner. And of course we had the sick day. We did go to the Reagan library and I'm just gonna turn that into its own separate vlog because it was like a ton of footage and I think it would be more helpful if I like explained more of the backstory and stuff and just made it its own thing. And it was so funny, we saw Colleen and Rachel Ballinger, their family was there, Miranda Sings. She's my friend from college so I stopped and talked to her for a little while and then Rachel just uploaded a vlog today that was like that day and their family at the Reagan library. So it was so funny. I was like looking for us in the background, but they kind of like got there as we were leaving. But darn it, if only we had been in the vlog, that would've been really cool. So anyway, huh, you know what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna eat and then I have like some organizational furniture type stuff that I got for Jensen's toys. So until my caffeine wears off, I think I'm gonna work on that a little bit and then do some other planning and grading and stuff and then what what is this child of mine up to? <coughs> oh, poor baby. Jensen, can you say bye? Oh, Jensen. Jensen, can you say bye, everyone? Oh, Jensen. It's doggy. Oh, doggy. I gotta get those shoes off. Why does he have shoes on the couch? Okay, finished doing laundry too? All right, guys. <laughs> See you later. Hope you had a great week. Bye.